Dublin, and I heard you were dead, Isaiah, and I know it's not true. Because on Friday, when I was coming down Grafton Street, I happened to turn my head, and there you were, coming out of Duke Street. And there was a tall, thin fellow with you with spectacles you couldn't see very well, and you were explaining things to him. And the two of you went down the street, and you jumped on a tram for Hope Head. I couldn't imagine why. I'm sure it was you. So I followed, and I got on the tram. But I couldn't find you because there were a lot of fellows with tall top hats. They looked like they were going to a funeral. However, I knew you were there because I could see you leaning over and explaining something to the fellow with the spectacles who had a notebook who was writing it all down. And then you were singing to him so I knew it was you because there's nobody else who could ride the whole tram and sing Hava Nagila. <laughs> And when we got to Hope, the two of you got off, like a shot off a shovel, you were up the hill, through the rhododendron bushes, and right up to the top of the hill. And I followed you and I called after you, Isaiah, where are you going? What are you doing here? And you turned around and you said to me, I have to know what she answers. <laughs> so I followed you. And we went through the rhododendron bushes and right up over the crest of the hill so the whole of Dublin Bay was before us. And there they were, lying in the grass, the two of them, that Leopold Bloom and that Strat Molly. And he had just proposed to her. And you leaned over and you said to her, so what did you say? And she turned away from Poldy, and she said to you, My God, after that long kiss, I near lost my breath. Yes, he said, I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, so we are, flowers all. A woman's body, yes. That was one of the true things he said in his life. And the sun shines for you today. Yes, that was why I liked him, because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get around him. And I gave him all the pleasure I could, leading him on till he asked me to say yes. And I thought, well, I swear him as another. And I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and then he asked me, would I yes to say yes, my mountain flower? And first, I put my arms around him and drew him down to me. So he could feel my breasts all perfume, yes, and his heart is going like mad. And yes, I said, yes, I will. Au revoir, Isaiah. I love you and I'll miss you forever. Thank you. <laughs>